mom is like super extra. Joel Marquise Christian. Okay. <laughs> no. Do you want me to talk about I can use my big boy voice for that. <laughs> we will have reflection. I remember mama. Joel Marquise Cake. great. Every loss like this reminds us to cherish the people who are here. Why are we happy? And uh, one thing I love about my mother, she was smart. She didn't always make the best decisions. I'm going to make tell you about something now. But um, she loved with her whole heart. And she always was thinking ahead. Uh, she started having conversations with me and my brothers to get us in the habit of communicating on a regular basis. Something I plan to continue. She made sure that uh, if there were any grievances we had with her before she passed, that it was all cleared up. Which is often something people don't get to do. I had to tell my my brothers over FaceTime that mom was gone due to social media. So I now have a great understanding about sharing other people's pain yes. online. Um, mom was a difficult person to be around sometimes. That's one of the things that made you love her. Because let's be real, no one who you disregard can really ever upset you. It's only the people who truly, you truly love that can get under your skin. And Lord, if I don't tell you, there was sometimes my mom was all up under my skin like she lived there. <laughs> but at the end of the day, there was nothing that woman wouldn't do for me. Even in death, I was just finding things that she had done and planned for me and the boys. I was just like, as weak as you were, you still managed to be as strong than anybody you've ever met. And still find a way to make me feel guilty for not buying my kids stuff when they don't need it. But um, she was a lot to a, a lot of people. Yeah. Mother to those who she did not birth. Sister to those who did not come from the same mother as her. Mom to brothers. And she passed for that. And she did it with a whole heart. And lately, I've been coming to the understanding that uh, humanity as a whole needs to understand that this world will be so much further along if we just stop being a little selfish and gave just for sake of giving to do something for somebody just because you can. My mom was the type of person who would have $100 in her pocket and give you 90 if you need it. She would rob and beat him and pay Paul to make sure your house was straight and 
then refuse any help later. She hates the old people stuff. After the devastating loss of Joelline Capos, a lady who was born to Gerard de Kaison and Egola Capos in Chicago, Illinois, she was preceded in death by her grandparents Robert and Eunice de Kaison and Benny B and Thelma Capos. Joel was a lively and adventurous child. If anything could be gotten into, she got into it. From the time she could walk, she could shake up a room. From the time she could talk, she could sing. Joe wasn't born into a Christian home, so she cut her teeth listening to the Supremes, Ray Charles, The Temptations, Smokey Robinson, and Haddal Gerald Kaysen. At the age of five, Joel's mom received Christ and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So now her life was filled with Sherry Caesar, the mighty clouds of joy, Mahalia Jackson, and Aretha Franklin singing at the New Bethel Church. Joel was lead singer in the choir at Free Holiness Church in Chicago. Actually, when her mom obeyed an evangelistic call, Joe was singing on the corner of 63rd and Ashland Avenue. Sadly, her dad didn't embrace the new lifestyle, so he and her mom divorced. In around 1978-79, Joel's family moved to Los Angeles, California, where her maternal grandmother had relocated. Joel's family joined her. Joel actually continued to sing and pass out. Uh, come to Jira's trucks with her mom and other siblings. Actually, she sang in churches, several churches, and in 1988, she began to sing in recording studios, gaining notoriety as an artist with the death row records under the stage name Joel. So as the Washington Post a few days ago declared... Um, she was actually winning the Year American Rival, Rival Awards and later we saw Joe's life starting to deteriorate, suffering from lung issues and actually passed on later after struggling for a few years. In this moment in time, like you've seen in the funeral, let us continue sending in messages of condolences to the family, friends, the son and everyone who has been close to her. Rest in power, the queen, Joel Keepers.